Hello everybody out there in the book first, it's Stephanie, and as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, I have decided that in September I'm going to be taking part in Becca's book Oplathon, and I am going to be doing my TBR today, and I'm really, really excited about it. I have never done a TBR game before, so this is kind of big for me, and I am into it. I'm excited for this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's get into this. First, let me explain a little bit about what this readathon is. It's created by Becca over at Becca and the Books. I'll link her channel down below and up in the cards. Uh, but she plays a kind of bookopoly inspired game to pick her TBR every month and she calls it Becca's Bookopoly and it's become pretty popular people really like it and so she decided to do a whole readathon around this so that everyone else could join in as well and of course I love watching Becca's Bookopoly every single month it's one of my favorite videos and I look forward to, to it every month so I am definitely going to be taking part in this readathon she made a little cute printable board for us to use and it has prompts around it for different like prompts for books to pick um like this one is you play someone else's tbr game and there's like this one is an own voices book and like having what is this one a friend pick so different things around the board and if you roll a double it means you have to roll another book so i've decided that i am going to do five books for my tbr because that's what becca does and we'll see how many i actually get how many doubles i roll hopefully none so i'll have a manageable tbr but we'll see and let's jump into the rolls Okay, so I have my tiny little Bookopolathon board that um, Becca made for us to print out and they are so cute. I think they just look so nice and I love it. I have my chance cards here and my community shelf cards here and I filled them out the way she instructed us to. And here is my little game piece. It's a little heart and that's what I'm gonna be using to move around the board. So let's go ahead and roll. My very first roll is a double. Aren't I so lucky? Okay, so. A TBR vet. So this is a book that has been on my TBR for a long time. So and for my very first roll, I rolled a double. It's starting out great for me, guys. And the prompt was TBR vet. So a book that's been your t on my TBR for a long time. Now, I had several options for this. Actually, I have a lot of options for this. But some that I was kind of looking at were maybe like American Gods by Neil Gaiman or uh, The Bone Witch by Rin Chapeco because these have both been on my TBR for a long time and they're books I'm really interested in. But... I decided I was kind of going to twist it a little bit, twist the prompt a tiny bit because I have so many series that I want to continue and I want to get some of those on here. So one series that has been on my TBR forever is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. And I did read the first book in that series already. So the second book technically hasn't been on my TBR that long because I just read the first one, but the series has been on my TBR for a long time. So I'm going with it. So I'm going to be reading uh, the second book in the Wheel of Time series. This is the first book. It's just I don't have the second book yet. I'm gonna order it. This is a high fantasy series. It seems to be kind of heavily inspired by Lord of the Rings. Honestly, it's very hard for me to describe high fantasy series <laughs> because they are so complex. There's so many characters and there's so much going on. I mean, these books are thick and a ton of it is world and plot and character development, obviously. Uh, but this one kind of follows three boys who potentially could be the reincarnation of the dragon and so they are traveling across this country in order to find safety and shelter because people are hunting them because they should have some sort of powers. I'm going to be reading the second one in the Wheel of Time series. I'm really excited to get through it because I actually absolutely love the first book. I know a lot of people say the first book is slow and it's hard to get through and it's not as good and the series gets better, but I really enjoyed it actually. I thought it was great and I don't mind slow books. So this series, I am so pumped that I'm going to be able to continue with it in September. The second book is called The Great Hunt, by the way. Okay, roll number two out of six now. <laughs> Another double! Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me! Okay, 
Yeah. Okay, my next one is an ebook or an audio book. Okay, and of course we got another double. So, so far that looks like we have at least seven books on this TBR, uh, but the prompt was an ebook or an audio book. And sticking with my theme of kind of continuing with series, I have decided I am going to listen to the next book in the Witcher series that I've been reading. So uh, the first two books are kind of a collection of short stories and I've read both of those. So the next book that I will be on is um, Blood of Elves, I believe it is. I think that's the first actual novel in the Witcher series. So I'm excited to jump into that because I don't think I've enjoyed the short story format quite as much as I would a novel, but I like the Witcher's character. I like a lot of the side characters. I love Dandelion. Uh, this is a series about a man called Geralt who is a witcher and what he does is he goes and kills or takes care of these magical beings or problems that villagers or towns or people can be facing and he gets paid for it. That's kind of his job. So it's just kind of a story about his shenanigans he gets himself into, his different um, jobs that he takes. So I'm enjoying it a lot. I know that they made a TV series out of it and they have video games based on it and I would love to play the video games based on it. So I think it'd be really cool to have read the books first because I like to read the books before I watch movies and I feel like Video games probably follow along those lines as well. Okay, roll number three out of seven now. It's just looking so great for you guys. Yes, okay, five. Community shelf card. Ooh, ooh, I'm a little nervous. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited! This is so cool. So my prompt that I got is treat your shelf. And so that means that I get to buy myself a new book to fill this prompt. And this is awesome. I'm so happy. I'm loving my prompt so far. Whew! My first roll, that's not a double, guys. I'm really excited about that. And I got my community shelf card that is Treat Your Shelf. And I am pumped. This is one of my favorite prompts to get because it means I get to buy a new book. And what I am planning to do with this is probably to just go to the bookstore, take you guys with me, vlog my experience, buy a book, and just like vlog reading of that book. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to get, but I will do a video on that. So I will let you guys know as we go. Okay, roll number four, here we go. And I get a nine. Okay, so I need to read a book that has fire on the cover. Okay. Okay, another one that's not a double. We're doing well, we're getting through this. The prompt was a book with fire on the cover, and I picked up a couple of options that we could go with for this one. I actually had several more books on my shelf that have fire than I would have expected. I was thinking this would be a hard prompt, but it wasn't at all. So one of the options is A Blood and Bone by Nora Roberts. This is the second one in her series, The Chronicles of the One, the first one being year one. It's kind of a dystopian series that has magic in it, which is fun and I, I liked the first book a lot so I'd be excited to get on to the second one. Another option would be The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. This is follows a girl who's supposed to be a sacrifice to her people's gods but then a man comes and offers to save her as long as she will help him with something. I think she might have some sort of powers so she decides I think to go with him otherwise that'd be kind of a short story and the book talks about how gods never forget. So I'm really excited about this book. It's a fairly new release and it's been on my shelf for a while and it has this kind of sparky flame stuff there. So I think that counts. And another option that I'm also really excited to get to is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This series sounds amazing. It sounds kind of like a series that is almost sci-fi mixed with fantasy, which is kind of interesting. So the magic system here is based kind of on a coding system pretty much but they're supposed to carry out this heist and somehow the girl who's supposed to steal this object carry out this heist gets involved in politics that she was not really prepared for 
Oh, as much as I really would love to read this book, I don't feel like I should start another series right now. I have so many series going right now and it's so pretty. But I'm gonna have to go with A Blood and Bone by Nora Roberts. We're just gonna stick with our continuing with series theme that we have going on here. And I'm gonna continue with the series. I am loving it. I think it's an amazing series and Nora Roberts is a great writer. She's so talented. So I'm very, I'm very excited to jump into this book and it definitely has fire on the cover. Like that one, we're not even questioning. <laughs> Onward to roll number five, what should have been my last roll, but obviously is not. Another nine. Friend pick. Oh, that's exciting. I'm actually really excited about that. Okay, so I'm really excited about a lot of the prompts that I'm landing on. This one is friend pick. So I decided I was going to have my sister pick for me. I took some pictures of my bookshelves and sent them to her and let her just pick out a book that she wanted me to read. And she decided she wanted me to read Spindle's End, which I would have never thought to put this book on a TBR. I've had it forever. And it's one that I think I'm absolutely going to love. But for some reason, I just have never put it on the list. This is by Robin McKinley, who wrote uh, Beauty, which was a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And this one is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. And she just kind of has a way with writing retellings and making them seem whimsical and sweet and fun and good. And I just love her writing style. I guess I shouldn't say it. <laughs> I guess I don't have that much experience with it. I've only read Beauty. But I am very excited to get into this book. It should be a decently quick read. My sister says it's more on the, it's kind of like in between middle grade and YA, so it shouldn't be too hard to get through. It'll just be a light, fun, good read that I can chill in the bathtub and just kind of bust it out, which is something that I love to have on my TBRs for readathons when I get stuck or maybe when I get in a slump. Just a good book to pull me out of it and just make me happy. Okay, so here we go for roll number six. We get a seven. Community shelf again. And my prompt is to read a graphic novel. I feel like community shelf is treating me well, guys. Okay, guys, I know I started out with two doubles, which was rough, but I feel like this game is being so nice to me and is giving me some great prompts. So this one is a graphic novel, and I have a few on my list that I want to read. So one of them is Witchy. This follows a girl who lives in a world where when women have powers, like their hair grows longer, the more powerful they get. But if it gets too long, then they'll kill them because they're dangerous and it's called a witch burning. So this one came in an owl crate box I believe. Was it Alcrate or Fairy Loot? I don't remember. I think it was Alcrate. <laughs> Another option would be the third volume in the Descender series. I've been reading this. This is a sci-fi graphic novel series that's kind of based around these AIs that attacked planets and killed a ton of different inhabitants. And now a lot of people don't trust robots and they hate them and are hunting them. And there's this one little AI boy who's so cute and he kind of has something within his coding that could be used to save them, potentially. That's another one. And also The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. I hear that this is just a sweet, cute graphic novel about these people who own these little tiny tea dragons. And I think that would be adorable. But I guess you guys can probably guess which one I'm going to pick because I've been doing this the whole entire TBR. And I'm going to go with Descender Volume 3. I'm going to continue with the series that I've already started because as you can tell, pretty much every prompt, I'm continuing with the series. I have too many series going. I need to finish them. But I am really excited about this series because I'm loving it. It is my favorite graphic novel series that I've ever read so far. So I want to continue. And on to what will hopefully be our last roll, our seventh roll. Ah, so sorry again. Little stack. Okay, so we got an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So this means that we need to play someone else's TBR game. Yes. Okay, my final roll. I'm so excited. It ended up being seven books instead of 
five like I had planned because I had a couple doubles, but it's okay. We're good. We're going to make it through. And my last prompt is to play a TBR game of somebody else, which I kind of am already doing with Bogopolathon, but I decided I am going to play Gavin's TBR game from How to Train Your Gavin. I'll link his channel down below as well. So he plays this card game. I don't remember. What, it's like called like choose your cards right I think I'll put it up I'll link one of his videos because that was terrible of me to forget the name and I'm playing it but the way he does is he picks two books one book that he doesn't really want to read and one book that he does want to read he puts the cards out and I'll just start going so the book that I want to read is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Live Ship Traders series, and it is the next book in Hiroma the Elderling series, which I finished her Farseer trilogy, and I really loved it. It was absolutely amazing. So we're continuing on. Becca is also hosting a read-along of these books. It's the um, Elderling Along. So this is the next one that I think they're going to do the live show at the beginning of October. So I'd like to get this done in September. And the book that I don't really want to read is Tithe by Holly Black. I really didn't like her Cruel Print series. And I hear this one's not even as good as that one. But this is kind of like a fey romance, but urban fey romance, which I don't like as much. I don't like them when they're urban. So this is one I'm not as interested in. And the way you do it. So you put the one you're not as interested in on this end of the cards and the one that you do want to read over here and you set out five cards so do it over here do it all over here so you can see them so there's one two three ah four sit there five can you see them Good. And you have to guess if your next card is going to be higher or lower than the one that came before it. And if you guess wrong, you have to read the book that you don't want to read. And if you get right for all five of them, well, I guess you only have to guess four times, then you get to read the book that you do want to read. So that's how this game is going to go. Here we go. First card is a nine. Oh, and by the way, ace is a one, so it's low. Nine. Oh, it's kind of in the middle. I'm gonna say it's gonna be lower. I'm going with lower on this one. Four, whew, okay, awesome, four. So I'm gonna say higher. Oh, I lose! No, there's no way you can win if you get two cards of the same in a row because I guess you just automatically lose. That's so lame, okay. Well, it, it looks like we're reading Tithe by Holly Black, that'll be fine. It's not super long, which I picked a book that I wasn't interested in that I thought would be a pretty quick read at least. And Becca did say that DNFs count for this game. So if I end up wanting to DNF it, I will. Okay, so my TBR for this readathon. These are the books that I have for it already. I also have The Great Hunt, the second book in the Wheel of Time series. I have Blood of Elves, which is the first book in the Witcher novels series. And then whichever book that I decide I'm going to buy when I go treat my shelf and I go to the bookstore and I'm so excited for this readathon. I feel like I have some really good books on here. I'm just so excited for all of them, even Tithe. It'll be fine. <laughs> So let me know if you are also participating in Becca's Bookopolathon. Mm, can't say it. Let me know down in the comments if you have made your TBR, if you're going to be participating, and also let me know if you have read any of these books, if you're excited about them. If you think I should have picked one of the other books that I mentioned that I didn't, let me know down below as well so I can prioritize them on future TBRs. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.